just behind me actually is where over a million square feet of retail and restaurant space covering seven stories will be. It's all part of the 28 acre Hudson Yards project. It's the largest ever private real estate development in the country. Earlier this morning, I sat down with the developer behind it all in an exclusive interview, Kenneth Himmel, and asked him if New York City really needs another big shopping area. We're not going to directly compete and take the place of this incredible experience on Fifth Avenue in Madison. I mean, that has its place in New York, which is almost unchallenged. I mean, it's the, 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 the velocity of sales, the interest level that comes from people around the world coming to New York to go to these Fifth Avenue and Madison flagships is not challengeable, but it doesn't have to be. This is an enormous market, Manhattan, and the west side of New York is a sub-market that literally becomes the fifth largest destination shopping market in America. Neiman Marcus takes its first residency in Manhattan here, but as retailers vacate flagships in New York City because of soaring rents and the shift to more online spending, I asked him if Hudson Yards will be a sustainable location for retailers going forward. We really believe this between 24 and 30 million people coming through one million square feet, seven levels of retailing in this project. We believe our retailers will average over $2,000 a square foot in sales, and we're already doing close to that at Time Warner Center. So that translates back into incredible productivity, and the rent structures that we're offering people are a fraction of the rents that, you're, that are being sustained right now on Fifth Avenue and Madison Avenue. Himmel says that those rents will be about 25 to 30 percent lower than what we're currently seeing in New York City and that the restaurant space at, on the fourth, fifth and sixth floors will bring traffic in and up.